In September 2023, Uganda Red Cross conducted a training on market-based programming for WASH. So, what did the participants expect from the training? As Jimmy, I'm so much interested to learn uh, what uh, market-based programming is, uh, what the approaches, uh, or what approaches are used to deliver results within the market-based programming. And then I will be so much interested to know how uh, this um, market-based programming can be integrated with the, with the other projects. Uh, what is market-based programming? Market-based wash programs we seek to achieve a reduction in wash uh, mobility and mortality among people affected by crisis while seeking synergies with existing yeah. market systems to minimize disruptions to the local market and maximize program efficiency. It also may aim to build resilience of wash-related markets. Uh -huh. All right then, which topics were covered in the training? Uh, being uh, not familiar with WASH pro program, I, I got interested in knowing what WASH, the components of WASH, what entails in WASH, yeah, and also the market system, how they are related from getting the from raw materials to making them finished good and then delivering them to the original consumer. Then also uh, maybe how to do the different like the different responsive modalities that are available. Uh, it was about the market assessment that we were able to move to the various vendors that were selling their products and were able to inquire about the prices. For now, we'd like to find out the price of each of the items that we have. Okay. For instance, how much does a, a bucket. bucket of 10 liters go for? Uh, I've learned to map out the market systems uh, and more interestingly how the uh, the value chain is attained. The in-kind donation you are giving us. Mm. Uh, how do you know that we need that? Yeah. And oh, I, I don't know. Maybe this voter has food inside. Maybe when you explain, I will understand. Okay. Thank you. Why not cash? So if you give me this money, how will I access the market? How will I use it? So, lucky enough, with multipurpose cash distribution, uh, we did a small assessment and we found out that there are many options. You have mobile phones. I can see you with a phone in your pocket. Is it yours? No. It's not yours. Okay. The most interesting, interesting thing I learned was uh, the factors that determine the kind of intervention that we may employ when we are responding to a crisis. We had our WASH pre-crisis market assessment, so as you can see, this is something we have done before. Which methods were used in the training? So we're looking at emergency water supply. Uh, the emergency assessment showed that Hygiene items, so soap, etc., are still available in the market at more or less reasonable prices. And the market is more and more reachable. The issue is just that people have lost their sources of income, so they have trouble buying it. So we, we looked at quite a number, but we came up with a blended version that has uh, in kind support and the multipurpose cash support. You buy more than two pads, you have one bottle of water again. Yes. For the rapid assessment tool, we decided that we have some questions that we need to include in this tool, and these are the questions cash for wash intervention for the people with incontinence 
in Rhino Camp Settlement. And now what? Participants of MBP training should put in practice what they have learned. Thank you very much, and I hope you got some new insights into market-based programming for WASH. This is no monkey business.